Hey everyone, Green Eyed Guide here. Today I want to talk about everything wrong with The Rock's new energy drink. This is not about Dwayne Johnson per se, this is about how his drink is being marketed. My goal here is to raise your BS meter for the next time you read an article like this one. Okay, let's dive right in. I'm referring specifically to the Forbes article, Dwayne, The Rock Johnson, Danny Garcia, Dave Renzi, and John Schluman announce a launch of Zoa energy drinks. Okay, so here's problem number one. Zoa is expected to be the first clean and healthy product in the energy drink aisle. Stop right there. Zoa is by no means the first clean and healthy product in the energy drink aisle. That's not true. Let's dispel this myth that there are not quote unquote clean and healthy energy drinks. You may not see them because they're not as successful as the stereotypical energy drinks. Picture this, picture this Venn diagram of all the people that want an energy drink and all the people that want something clean and healthy. That place where those overlap is very small. And so the drinks that appeal to those people, the people that want an energy drink that is also clean and healthy, that's a very small market share. So yes, those drinks exist, but you don't see them because they're not as successful. If you would like to see more of what these drinks are, Caffeine Man and I did a review of some of the more popular healthy energy drinks. That review is called Are Energy Drinks Bad Part 3? I'll provide the link in the show notes or in the episode description, wherever it is you're watching or listening to this podcast or episode. In that episode I did with Caffeine Man, we looked at energy drinks that had no artificial sweeteners or colors, low amounts of caffeine, low or no amounts of sugar. So there really are quote unquote healthy energy drinks. And like I said, Zoa is not going to be the first. There are others out there. So that's problem number one. That is incorrect. Let me read the rest of this same sentence. Zoa is expected to be the first clean and healthy product in the energy drink aisle made with immunity boosting superfood ingredients, dot, dot, dot. Let's talk about immunity boosting ingredients. This is a great way to get on the FDA's radar in a bad way. The FDA is very cautious about people using these claims, claims like anti-inflammatory, reduce inflammation, supports healthy inflammation response, etc. These are not approved structure function claims, and these claims get a little too close to a disease claim, which is a no-no for a food or a supplement. You're, you're not medicine, so you can't say stuff about disease. And inflammation counts as disease, especially arthritis. So you have to be very careful when you're throwing around words like immunity boosting ingredients, because you, you shouldn't say stuff like that. That's a good way to get in trouble with the FDA, and it's not scientifically or biologically accurate. Um, let's keep going here. The rest of that sentence is also problematic. Zoa is made with uh, immunity boosting superfood ingredients, including turmeric, camu camu, and acerola. Let's talk about turmeric. Turmeric is another problematic ingredient because it doesn't have as much scientific evidence to support the hype. There was a lot of hype around turmeric and curcumin a while back, but as I learned when I prepared a brief for one of my clients, there's a lot of problems with the research around turmeric and curcumin. <clears throat> Recently, many studies have come into question as a prominent scientist who studied curcumin, specifically its effects on cancer, was found to be falsifying his results. He published his research in more than 500 peer-reviewed academic journals. His work was cited more than 1,000 times in other academic research papers. The hype around turmeric and curcumin still lives on even though the research that was the foundation for that hype is dramatically overblown and very much in question. All right, here's the next sentence that I have a problem with. Zoa is free from preservatives, artificial ingredients, and additives. Okay, so let's talk about what does that mean to be free from preservatives? Well, that's actually alarming because how are you going to make sure your stuff doesn't spoil in the warehouse before it gets to the store? There are such things as natural preservatives. Salt, for example, is a natural preservative. Citric acid, 
for example, is a natural preservative. There's a great article from publicgoods.com that outlines the benefits of preservatives, like why we have them in the first place, as well as some of the natural preservatives that you can use. If you are trying to appeal to the clean and healthy group, don't say, I'm free from preservatives. Say, I have natural preservatives. Let's not stir up some undue chemophobia or fear mongering just to try and solidify your marketing position. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's unnecessary and it's scientifically inaccurate. Okay. Zoa is also quote unquote free from additives. Okay. Well, that's not true because if you look at the FDA definition of an additive, it's an ingredient. An additive is an ingredient. An additive's purpose is to change the composition of a food. Like citric acid is an additive. Caffeine is an additive. Camu Camu is an additive. All of those things, maybe you call them quote unquote ingredients, but the FDA calls them quote unquote additives. And as such, they have to be regulated and proven safe. But yeah, you can't be free from additives because additives is literally just in a broad sense, any substance added to food. I mean, unless you're pulling the thing out of the dirt and putting it into a box, like, you know, it's a carrot that you're literally pulling from the dirt and putting into a container, you're gonna add stuff to it. It's gonna have additives, it's gonna have ingredients. So it's not true to say that your drink has no additives. That's just, again, more marketing than safety. It's undue chemophobia and it's not at all correct. Okay, and the last problem I have with this, let me fin finish reading what ZOA contains. ZOA contains 100% of vitamin C. Well, no, duh, you've got camu camu and acerola in there. Uh, B complex vitamins, the essential vitamin D, in addition to a clean blend of green tea and green unroasted coffee, electrolytes, and uh, amino acids. I want to pick on the amino acids here because that's another clickbait on a can. I went into this a little more in the episode science behind new fusion. The problem with adding amino acids is that it's not the same as having protein. It's not gonna give you the same benefits after a workout. And I can guarantee you that there's not gonna be enough of a dosage of these isolated amino acids to do you any good biologically. You need at least 10 or 15 grams of amino acids to have a benefit, to see some health benefits there. And it's really hard to get those to stay into solution. That's why you don't find them in drinks. You don't find that that high dosage in a drink. You can't keep it, you know, in you can't keep it from falling to the bottom of the can or the bottle. So I can guarantee you that this energy drink, like others that talk about essential EAAs or BCAAs, you're not gonna have enough of a dosage to make a difference. So again, it's clickbait on a can. Okay, the article keeps going, but I will stop there. Hopefully, like I said, this gives you a stronger BS meter when you read articles like this. This is more marketing than safety. It's more marketing than science. So you really need to be careful and read between the lines when someone is trying to sell you something, especially an energy drink that's twice as expensive as the one right next to it. I hope this helps. Take care. We'll talk again later. Bye.